Hello, Pre-K students. This is Miss Melton again, and I am so excited to be with you all. And so today, we are going to do a second read of Peter's Chair. The author, the person who wrote this story, is Ezra Jack Keats. And he is also the illustrator, the person who drew the pictures. Now, do you remember Peter? Peter has a new baby sister in the house. And his little sister is getting so much attention that he feels left out. So he had planned to run away, but he decided not to. I am wondering, what was he feeling when he was planning to run away? Let's read and find out. Peter stretched as high as he could. There, his tall building was finished. Peter looks like he's enjoying playing with his toys. Crash! Down he came. Shh! called his mother. You will have to play more quietly. Remember, we have a new baby in the house. I wonder if Peter feels like things have changed since the new baby arrived. Peter looked into his sister Susie's room. His mother was fussing around the cradle. That's my cradle, he thought, and they painted it pink. Peter is probably feeling jealous, a little unhappy because his mother has been spending a lot of time with the new baby. We know that new babies need a lot of attention. Hi, Peter, said his father. Would you like to help paint sister's high chair? It's my high chair, whispered Peter. Peter noticed another piece of his furniture is getting painted pink. He doesn't look too happy. He saw his crib and muttered. He said it in a way that no one would understand it. My crib is painted pink too. Not far away stood his old chair. They didn't paint that yet, Peter shouted. Peter looks disappointed. He looks a little unhappy. He is probably thinking, everything is different now that Susan came. I have to be quiet when I play with my toys and all of my furniture is painted pink for her. Susie is getting all the attention and I feel left out. He picked it up and ran to his room. I think Peter took his chair because he didn't want it to be painted pink for his sister Susie. Let's run away, Willie, he said. Peter filled a shopping bag with cookies and doll biscuits. We'll take my blue chair, my toy crocodile, and the picture of me when I was a baby. Willie got his bone. As you can see, Peter is very upset. They went outside and stood in front of his house. This is a good place, said Peter. He arranged his things. He put them in a special place very nicely and decided to sit in his chair for a while. Peter must feel very upset or sad. I wonder if he's running away so that his parents would notice him. Maybe he is thinking, if I run away, then mom and dad would notice that I am not here. That would get their attention. Notice Peter did not go far. He is outside of his house. But he couldn't fit in the chair. He was too big. Peter is probably thinking, what's wrong? This is my chair, but I cannot sit in it. I am too big for this chair now. I think Peter is feeling disappointed or sad that he cannot fit in his special chair anymore. His mother came to the window and called, won't you come back to us, Peter dear? We have something very special for lunch. Peter and Willie made believe pretended that they didn't hear, but Peter got an idea. I wonder what Peter is going to do. Let's read and find out. Soon his mother saw signs that Peter was home. That rascal is hiding behind the curtain, she said happily. I think Peter's mother was happy to see him and his belongings back inside the house. She moved the curtain away, but he wasn't there. Here I am, shouted Peter. 
Peter is happy that his mother noticed him. He must have been thinking, I did it, I did it, I fooled my mother. She thought I was behind the curtain because she saw my shoes. I got her attention. And I am important to this family. I am thinking Peter is feeling special again. Peter sat in a grown-up chair. His father sat next to him. Daddy, said Peter, let's paint the little chair pink for Susie. Peter is feeling that he is important to his family. He must be thinking, I am too big for that little blue chair. I am a big boy now, and I am special because I am a big brother. I don't need that little chair anymore. Susie can have it. I am glad I am a big brother. I can sit in a big chair just like my dad. So I don't think Peter is feeling jealous anymore. And they did. Peter realized that he was a big brother now. And even though baby Susan needed a lot of attention, his parents loved him just as much as they did before Susan joined the family. He was happy about sharing his favorite chair with his sister. This is the end of our second read of Peter's chair. So I am curious to know, why did Peter want to run away? I want you to think about this question Share your answer with your friends and teacher. Bye, my friends.